Hey y'all, Shelly here with another tip for hospice nurses. So I'm talking about different different diagnoses assessments. And so how do we assess to show eligibility in our hospice patients? So today I'm talking about in-stage heart failure, either congestive heart failure or in-stage coronary artery disease. So we all know in these patients how to document the cardiac assessment. We know their pulse is gonna be weak and thready. We know they're probably gonna have edema, probably not gonna be able to palpate, pedal or posterior tibial pulses. Heart tones are probably gonna be distant, may have murmurs, um, those kind of things. So we know that. So I'm gonna focus on the other system assessment. So I go, I'm, I'm using my book. I go to the cardiac section of my book and I'm gonna look at the other, other areas that we have to assess. So for instance, mobility. What does their mobility look like and how do you relate that back to their heart failure? So are they chair bound? Are they bed bound? If they are ambulatory, what does it look like? So compare that, remember, to a healthy person. A healthy person can get up out of their chair and go to the kitchen. Your patient's probably not able to do that. So what does it look like? And so you're going to document that due to the progression of terminal end-stage congestive heart failure, patient is experiencing progressively worsening weakness, which is resulting in either zero tolerance for activity or minimal tolerance for activity as evidenced by, and then talk about what it looks like for them to get to the kitchen. Um, you also want to talk about their skin. What does their skin look like? Are they having, do they have arterial ulcers or venous stasis ulcers? And if they don't, what does their skin look like though? Are their extremities cool and this kind of blue? You know, sometimes we see a little, it looks very pale because of the poor arterial flow. Um, is, is it thin and dry and flaky because they're of uh, the poor the poor blood flow. What is just what does that look like? What does their elimination look like? Because while they may not, they may be continent, they may still have to wear adult diapers because they can't get to the bathroom in time because of their weakness due to their end stage congestive heart failure, that they have to still wear diapers or have pads or they have to have a bedside commode or a urinal. So what does it look like in that? Um, what is their neuro, neurologically, how do they look? They may not be confused or disoriented, but are they more forgetful? Are they having to take longer to answer a question because of the poor flow, because of their in-stage heart failure? What does that look like? So I hope this gives you an idea of how you can relate all of your system assessments back to your main diagnosis of in-stage congestive heart failure or in-stage coronary artery disease. So I hope this tip was helpful. If you have any tips that would be helpful for hospice nurses, please let me know. I'd love to share them here. And remember, together we can change our world.